Hi, welcome back to JJ's Baker House. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my page. Thank you. So today what we're going to do is I made a tutorial of this Winnie the Pooh. Okay, um, what I did today is instead of using the Saracena, which I really like, which can be a little bit more expensive, is I have actually used just regular store-bought fondant and I added some of the um, Sugar Flare Supreme White. Now this is titanium dioxide and um, Tylos. Now what that does is when you add Tylos to it, it toughens it up so it makes it harder to be able to model with. Now if you're just practicing, it might be the cheapest way of doing it. What I do is I add about a teaspoon to about 500 grams, see how that goes. Now, what I would make sure that you do is keep it for about an hour or preferably in a bag overnight so that it will start working and do what you need it to do. As you can see with my Winnie heater, um, I didn't wait quite overnight. So he did sink a little bit at the back and that's what you can get from your Tylos not being quite tight enough. So even though he looks good, to me, he still has a little bit of a bulge at the back. But if you leave that Tylos overnight and make sure it's the right consistency, that's not gonna happen at all. So that's what I used with that one there. Then the other things that I've used are all out in front of you. Obviously to make Winnie's colour, I used the egg yellow and cream sugar flare, the canary yellow, just mixed those two together until I got the right kind of colour. So I was happy with that. The Christmas red for his top and then just regular black for the eyes. Really simple this one, only a couple of colours made it a lot easier. So that's those. Then I have the rose uh, powder. Now I used that for his cheeks and I think I was a little bit off screen at one point but I did put it inside his mouth just to give that colour. So that's, if I pop off screen at one point, you wonder what I'm doing with the brush. That is exactly what I was doing, just inside the mouth, just there. So other than that, you can see all the different instruments. I bought these as a pack the other day on um, Amazon. They were quite handy, they were fairly cheap as well. To make the markings on the Winnie the Pooh, what I've used this time is a nozzle that's around like a Wilton 16 or similar. You can see in the picture what the head needs to look like. Now I've gone in with this with a rotating motion. Now. I push in very, very lightly and just twist slightly, not too much. It might be an idea to practice this to start with on a piece of fondant, um, but it will give you that effect and it's actually quite effective. It's really nice. So that's everything that I've got there. Now that was just for Winnie the Pooh. Obviously there are a lot of other videos that I'm going to do for you. But if you do have a specific video that you would like me to do, just leave it in the comments box below and I'll have a look at that or pop it on my Instagram page. My Instagram is JJ's Baker House if you want to give that a look as well. That was brilliant. Thanks for watching. Good luck.